All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Engineering Major Philosophy Minor and uh, this is the channel where you can get a working aerospace engineer's opinions on topics pertaining to engineering, philosophy, politics, various other culture and social issues. Today we're going to continue doing some culture building and I've got some scissors right here because I'm about to cut open this box and what's inside this box is uh, my brand new RTX 2080 Ti this is gonna be the first part. So today is the 22nd of September. So this is gonna be the first part of the uh, like liquid custom liquid cooling loop upgrade that I'm doing to my computer. The reason I'm doing that upgrade is A, because computers are awesome, B, because it's fun to tinker with stuff from an engineering point of view, and C, um, I want to get some better frames per second when I'm recording for you guys on City Skylines and uh, various other games that we play. I mean, I think the only other game that I'm going to play is chess, let's be real, so that doesn't really need a high frame rate. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the box cut open. Aya! <laughs> okay, no, but seriously. Alright, so, tape is cut open. Here we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Jeez, the box is as big as my head. Um, both the RTX 2080 Ti cards that I got, um, this one included, but the one I have in my machine right now, are actually both refurbished. And the refurbished, um, you know, the, the one that I have in my machine right now obviously works totally fine. Um, I did put a uh, AIO liquid cooler on that, and I'll show you guys a picture of that. and. I already know that some of you guys are going to look at that and be like, oh, you've got the AIO set up because air can go to the pump and blah, blah, blah. Realized that, did not realize that until after I installed it. There was not another convenient place to put the radiator, um, but that's why we're going to a custom loop, so I'm going to get that out of the system relatively soon. Um, but if anybody wants this NZXT Kraken something or other um, AIO liquid cooler, um, I might just do like a little giveaway for that actually. So anyway, this card right here is also refurbished. Other one works fine, so I'm trusting that this one works completely fine too. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and pull it out of this box now. I was doing something bad there with my hand up here cutting up this way. If you're a kid watching this, do not do that at home. Always always cut away from you. It's a lot better to scratch open your table than to cut open your thumb. This is, you know, kind of a family-friendly channel. Oh, whoa. So the other side of the box slid on here, and here is the card right here. Nice little cool thingy. Manual, don't really need that. Oh, I see, this is just an HDMI to display port adapter. Oh, just broke it. It's already refurbished. Very cool. Look at that, in 4K, no less. This is a beefy, nice beefy card. All right, so here is the RTX 2080 Ti, and I have a SLI um, bridge right here. So this is a four inch spacing, uh, or four, sorry, not four inch, four slot spacing SLI. And I really hope that it works in my build because I actually think that I have a three slot thing, but the three slot SLI is like $100 more for some reason than this. Um, but I don't know, we're just gonna have to see how it works. Um, I really hope I don't spend much money. But what I wanted to show you guys right here is the Corsair XG7 RGB custom cooler. So this is the first part um, the, the first like custom block that's going to get put on and what we're going to do in uh, the next, the latter half of this video is um, take off the um, stock air cooler that's on here and throw on this water block. Um, and that'll be a video in and of itself. 
Um, so we'll get the water block on there and then, you know, that will just be kind of the end of this video. Um, just kind of like a little fun little tutorial on how to do that. Um, these uh, XG7 RGBs um, from other videos that I've watched seem pretty easy to in install. So I'm going to show you guys that from start to finish, obviously speeding up the video in between. Once I've done all that and I wait a couple of paychecks because all this stuff is expensive, um, I'm going to get another XG7 RGB for the current one that I have. I'm gonna get a block for the CPU. I'm gonna get two 240 millimeter radiators, one 360 millimeter radiator, and a bunch of tubing and all that stuff. And the next episode is gonna be completely building out the custom liquid cooling loop. That might be a few weeks, so in the meantime, we're gonna be playing some City Skylines. We're gonna be talking some politics stuff. And uh, yeah, it should be cool. So um, I'm gonna go hit back right now. Uh, we're gonna go hit back workout and I'll catch you guys in uh, a little bit later. All right, what's going on guys? It is September 24th, I believe. So in the previous little scene of this, I showed you guys that I got the 2080 Ti graphics card. Sitting over there on the other side of the room is the XG7 uh, RGB custom liquid water block for that. But before, I show you guys uh, how to put on that water block. We gotta do a couple checks. So I've got the build sitting right here in front of me. Before we put that water block on, there are a couple things that we need to do. So first thing we're gonna do is actually check to make sure that the graphics card actually works. Um, and uh, I would like to do that without taking out the existing graphics card, but that's another thing. I wanna do a clearance check in here as well. And I obviously need to then make sure that the SLI bridge that I got actually fits this because I got a four inch spacing or a four slot spacing. Maybe it's a three slot spacing. So let's go ahead and start taking out some of these brackets and see if we can squeeze this graphics card in there. Yeah, so you can see right here, let's grab this screwdriver. So here is the PCI Express slot and you can see that right here, is the base of, well, it's really the top, but it's the base of the water block. So I gotta, I'm hoping that I can just slide the card in there so that I can take a look at the spacing and kind of eyeball the spacing. Obviously with this bracket, with this bracket on here, I won't be able to get the SLI bridge across there, but I can at least check to see if it's the right spacing and then see if I need to order uh, the actually the three inch spacing, which I really hope I don't have to do because the three inch spacing one is like 200 bucks. For some reason, I guess there's either there's a huge shortage of them or they just don't make them anymore. That is opened up. And now we will take out the new card. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we gotta see if this is gonna fit in under here. And looks like it might be it's gonna be really, really tight. Oh wow, these cables actually over here. Maybe actually be might be the real problem. I you know, I think it's actually gonna fit if it weren't for this wire bundle right here being a little bit too close. Oh my god, Ian So Ian starts talking on Timcast and he just says some of the dumbest stuff. Like the economy was not on its way down when uh, when Trump was leaving office. Am I anywhere even close to this? Oh, it's just, it's just barely not gonna go in with this here, which is really unfortunate. But before I pull this out, we can check the SLI bridge just by kind of mocking it up. It's got the SLI bridge right here and actually what I'm gonna do is just pop it onto this card like that. Oh wow, that is, that's really loose on there, but I just wanna see, just mock this up. Oh my God, multiple problems. That is not gonna fit. What if, oh, yeah, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. The card basically needs to be right here as if it was sitting on these fans for this to fit. Oh man. Major fail on this, guys. I should have inspected that ahead of time. But that's okay. Still need to make sure that this works, and we're still going to throw the water block on it. So give me a minute. 
All right. That actually was... <laughs> I thought I was going to struggle with that for a really long time, but it actually wasn't that bad. And don't worry, guys. Uh, just because the SLI bridge, I need to get a new one and stuff. That is not a big deal because <clears throat> I'm still going to be running this. I still have to order all the uh, liquid cooling stuff, so I know that all you guys were, you know, really sweating bullets thinking that, you know, oh no, you know, uh, engineering, flo engineering major, philosophy minor, he's not going to be able to post any political crap while he's uh, talking or while he's playing City Skylines, but don't you worry. We're going to be posting political crap while playing City Skylines. This is going to be really bizarre because the pump is going to turn on and everything, but the graphics card actually isn't going to be connected. Um, but I think that should be okay as, as long as I get it out of the way so that it doesn't slap any of the fans. Let's get this one in here. All right, now we're going to plug it in and try to turn it on. All right, flip the power supply on. Get some lights up there. That's nice. Let's go ahead and turn on the monitor. Sweet. Just be absolutely sure nothing's contacting any fans. And uh, this this looks real weird, doesn't it? Oh, you know, I bet I could actually throw this. Well, maybe not. Yeah, nothing's nothing's contacting any of the fans up there. Good. Let's go. So the bummer thing about having this on the bottom side is like this actually looks like really friggin' cool, uh, but you can't, you know, you can't see it. Uh, you can't see it when the graphics card is turned down. So we do have fans rotating here on the bottom so that's a good sign and uh, the LEDs are lit up in here in the graphics card so that's good um, but uh, still not oh there's the post no keyboard detected all right guys so we have the uh, graphics card sitting right here Got the uh, XG7 RGB here in the case, and let's go ahead and just open up the, uh, the XG7 here. Um, so I have looked in here already, but I want to show you guys the contents of the package. So move the card out of the way here for just a second. Also have a little dish here, so we're going to be taking out a lot of fasteners, and they're really small. And uh, it's good to just have like a little dish to like put fasteners in. You can use a Ziploc bag too, no problem. But uh, all right, so what we have in here is of course the water block right here. We have some cables right here. Um, this is for like daisy chaining obviously and connecting up the power. Um, so the really neat thing about these water blocks is you can see right here there is a plastic cover that is covering pre-applied thermal paste on there. And the thermal paste is actually applied, and it looks it looks like pretty cool actually. It's like uh, it's like really well placed on there by some machine. But nice thing too is other thermal pads for some of the other aspects of the PCB um, are um, are already applied there. So I actually don't think you need to take off the I/O shield in order to take off the uh, air cooler block on here. Um, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Anyway, um, I don't really have a fancy tool set, as you can see right here. It's just like a Walmart thing. Uh, I'm just going to grab the smallest Phillips head screwdriver, get my fastener dish out here, and we're just going to start pulling out fasteners here. And probably will speed through this part. So uh, time lapse is probably going to start here in a second right now.
All right, guys, there we have it. The XG7 officially installed on the EVGA 2080 Ti XC Ultra graphics card. So the one thing that I really love about these um, water blocks is just how clean they make the card look. You know, like this versus having this having this like super bulky air cooler set up on there. This just looks really clean and unique. It looks like it's just going to nicely slot right into your computer, not take up a ton of space. Obviously, the way that Corsair designed this outer thing with the plexi right here so you could you know, theoretically see fluid movement going through there. You can see the cooling fins kind of machined in onto the, uh, right over the processor here. Um, thermal pads pre-installed, really nice looking back plate back here. So it just looks clean and you're not just seeing, you know, exposed circuitry on the back side. Um, and then of course we can put uh, some of these plugs in here, although you know, I kind of wish it came with four plugs so that you could really um, just kind of isolate isolate the system and really avoid um, dust getting put in there. Um, and these are like Del Rin plugs or something like that. They're plastic. Just going to tighten those up. Only on one side for now. And, uh, and then, obviously the next step to this is going to be ordering... Um, I have to order another XG7 for the current 2080 Ti that's in there, and then of course all the rest of the liquid cooling setup. Um, so that's probably going to be like a couple weeks, uh, maybe like three weeks, maybe even up to a month away because I've been spending a lot of money lately, and uh, that's uh, probably not wise for the economy that we're in right now. Although to be perfectly honest, I don't really know um, what's going to be. <laughs> what's well, gonna be valuable in the long run anyway. I mean, honestly, some of these PC parts might actually be like worth a lot more than the US dollar here if my boy Joe Biden keeps up the spending. So um, thank you guys for watching very much. We're gonna be at you with more content on the city skylines front. And then obviously once the uh, computer parts uh, get in here, um, then we're gonna be um, doing some more doing some more computer stuff. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. EMPM out.